In this video, I'm going to show you how to be able to use generative answers in a multilingual capacity using Copilot Studio. So this video is going to build on top of the video I did on how to do multi-language bots in Copilot Studio. In this particular video, I'm going to dive into how we can actually generate responses in a multilingual way in conjunction of using a multilingual bot inside of Copilot Studio. So think of it that one is, the earlier video shows you how to do translations, and uh, that's going to be our starting point for this particular video. And then this video is going to show you how to take a bot and then generate, using generative answers, uh, responses in different languages. So, so let's get started. So the first step is I've just created myself a conversational bot um, that it through Copilot Studio. And so this Copilot is a multilingual one. And you can see here, I've got the English and Spanish versions here. And one of the things that we'll do is we'll go into uh, generative AI. And just to demonstrate here, I'm just going to do Microsoft.com. And I'm going to add this in. Now, now that I've done that and I save it, what's going to happen is now we'll be able to actually respond back with answers from Microsoft's website. So to give you an example of this, I can go into this bot now and I can say, um, what are the benefits, or let's say, what are the specs of a Surface Pro 9? And what it's going to happen here is you're going to see it uh, go out and it's going to go look at Microsoft.com and it's going to come back um, with an answer on this. Now, one of the things that you may have seen in an, an earlier video is that you can come in here and you can actually translate this um, or adjust the way that it responds. And you'll still be able to do that um, with this. But just for the sake of uh, demonstration, we'll go in here and we'll change this one thing. And I'm going to save it. And this way, we'll get a, um, a more, more verbose answer. So that way, you can get a better understanding of the words that will come out. So we'll say, what are the specs of a surface pro nine and now what you're going to see is that because i've taken it and said that you're not limited to 50 words we should get a more verbose response and and we do um now this is great and this is how we can just do typical generative answers but let's go a little further imagine now because we have this country code that is available to us and if you remember in the first video i explained that this is where i'm setting uh, this particular code. So with that, what I'm going to do really quick is I'm going to make a change to the conversational boosting topic. And so you can see here that the conversational boosting topic is just the out of the box one that we have here. So what I'm going to do is I've already prepared some YAML um, and I'm going to walk you through. Don't worry. We're going to walk through how all this works. And what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to come in here if you didn't know, you can expose the code behind experience by clicking here and going to the code editor. Now I'm going to change this particular code with this new code, and I'm going to save it. Now once I save this and it comes back, let's take a look at what that actually did. What I did here is I went ahead and I created, first I created a variable here. And let's take a look at this variable and it's called generative uh, answers location config. And let's look at the actual formula that I put in here. So if you're not familiar with this, you can actually create a table with PowerFX. And in this case, what you're seeing is that I'm saying, here is the language, which is English, and here's the language, which is Spanish. And here is an identifier. Now, if you're not familiar with Bing Custom Search, which I also have a video previously that I've introduced Bing Custom Search, it's very common for enterprises to use Bing Custom Search to be able to make sure that they point at the uh, search results for generative answers 
from a specific set of sites. And so if you want to expand beyond four different sites or you want to say, I only want this particular section of my site, or if you want to go and say, I want all of the site, but I want to put exclusions in or change the prioritization of the search results. Again, this is super powerful when you use Bing Custom Search. In the case of this, what I'm doing is I'm saying, here's the configuration I want of Bing when it's English, and here's the configuration I want of Bing when it is Spanish. And each of them point to different sites. One points to the English site and one points to the uh, Mexican Spanish site. So that's what we have here is the table. So this is just a lookup table. And then what you're going to see here is that if we look at this, uh, which is the generative answers piece, you'll see here I've chose Bing Custom Search out of this drop list right here. And then within that, I've got this formula. So let's look at this formula. And what I'm doing here is I'm saying look up in this particular variable, which is that table, and I want the lang, if, if the language is equal to the system.user.language, which is the language variable that says that it's English or Spanish, then I want the search ID to be returned. And so that's what this is basically doing. So think of it that I'm looking at that table, I'm figuring out, in that, in that table, what looking for the language where the language is equal to the language variable set by the user or set by the uh, person within the copilot. And then I'm returning the search ID configuration for the Bing custom search. And now because I've done that, what's gonna happen is when I come in here and let's just clear this out really quick so you can see how this is gonna work. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, because I'm set at English, I'm going to ask the question to see that Bing Custom Search is going to return the results for me in from the English Microsoft site for a scenario. So I'm going to, in this case, I'm going to say, what are the specs of a Surface Pro 9? And now what it's going to do is it's going to go out and look at the Bing custom search implementation, get the correct configuration, and send that result to generative answers based upon the language code that we have within the spot, which in this case is English. And occasionally you'll get this. This is because the environment is throttling us. Apparently I've made too many videos today. And voila. What you're going to see here as we went through, we were able to get the answer, and you'll see here is the answer in English. And if we hover over this, you'll see that this is coming from the ENUS uh, Microsoft website. So this is from the English one. So let's change this, and let's go back in, and let's try this in Spanish. So if in Spanish I want to ask this question, I'm going to actually put in the Spanish way of asking the same question around the specs of a Surface Pro 9. And in this case, what's going to happen is we're going to go through the exact same process, except we are going to see that Bing Custom Search is going to re realize that we're talking in Spanish and we're using the Spanish code. And notice that it's responded now in Spanish. And if we hover over this, you'll see down in the code below here that we're actually using the uh, Spanish Mexican site for Microsoft. That is because of the dynamic shift in the Bing custom search from that table that we just did. So this is a really great way of kind of combining all of the things and the lessons we had earlier around using Bing custom search, using multilingual, and then combining all of this and pulling it together. You you will find that using uh, Spanish content for Spanish generative answers will result in much better um, quality in the re return of the answers coming in versus using English content trying to generate Spanish answers. So just know that these are tricks to be able to go do this. The other thing is, if you aren't aware of it, at um, Ignite, 
this year, we were actually released the ability to be able to do um, five new languages with uh, generative answers. And so now Spanish, French, German, Japanese, and Portuguese, I believe, are the ones that we now support. And we are working on additional ones to come. All this said, I really appreciate you guys taking the time to watch the video. Hopefully this is super helpful for you. Please like and subscribe to the channel. And as always, you can go and try uh, Copilot Studio by going to aka.ms slash try Copilot Studio. And don't forget to please ask for anything of additional videos that you might want to see in the comments. And thank you and have a great day.